intoxicants. You got a perk, news hounds. Okay, well that's hard news. I think we might be de dealing with aliens or something. You get extra XP from learning new things from the newspaper archive. Okay. Uh, 35. Okay, I don't know. Okay, let's go, Gabby. We're going over here. Alice, where Jessica said the speakeasy was. Yes, check it out. You weave between various trash cans and piles of uncanned trash until you reach a serious looking door. Knock. A little panel slides open near the top of the door and narrowed eyes regard you through it. Password? The password was fiddlesticks. Number four. Okay, come on in, but you better not be a foey. A proey. Oh, from the prohibition agent. Okay, like the alien dance or something like that. Uh, I don't even know what a pro is. Oh, look at this. It's a bar. This guy loves hitting those spoons together. Okay, so that's Spoon Man over there. Who is this guy? Don't bother him. He's bouncing. Oh, it's the bouncer. Okay. What about this guy over here? Milky Eyed Sot. Talk to him. He turns his head towards you and smiles. Should I buy him a drink? Okay. You spend five minutes. After a few moments and a few sips, he clears his throat and speaks. They try, but they never dam up the flow. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna buy him another minute. After a few moments and a few sips, he clears his throat and uh, speaks. They try, but they never dam up the flow. Okay, okay, I'm gonna leave you to the mechanism. Okay, look at this. We got people walking stupid over here, maybe dancing. Okay, Spoonman, don't. Okay, can I talk to the Spoonman? No. Okay, this guy is doing the cocktail, uh, you know, Tom Cruise thing. Man behind the bar is shaking up a storm. He looks up as you approach, but doesn't stop shaking. You never stop shaking. He grins. Hello, baby. Welcome to Oliver's place. My name is Fuzzy. Whatever you say, baby. Are you Oliver? Heck no. Fancy Dan, the cocktail man. Awesome. Pleased to meet you, Dan. Uh, do you happen to know what time is it? Because uh, you have a watch on you? Sorry, baby. The only one around here who carries a pocket watch is the owner, Oliver Glock. He left about, uh, left about an hour ago to pick up the latest shipments of hooch. From who? From whom, baby? Before it was Fancy Dan, the cocktail man, it was Fancy Dan, the English teacher. Sorry, from whom? From the mob guys we always get it from. So, where is the handoff? The old refrigerator factory. I see, how do I get there? Uh, I grabbed, uh, Dan grabs a cocktail napkin, hands it to you. Uh, thanks. Aha, uh -huh, a wrong napkin, here. Take that napkin back and grabs a different one with a couple of icons scroll on it. Take the napkin, mapkin, it's a mapkin. You got an item, Ocean City napkin map. Okay. We're here behind Murray's store on Plunk Street. So if you go out of the alley and then head straight toward the edge of the napkin, you can miss the factory. Location unlocked, Plunk Street and Fridge Factory. You now have a map of the area. You can open it by clicking the map up on the top right or by hitting M. Thanks, Dan. Don't mention it, baby. Want a drink for the road? First one's on the house. Sure. Beer. I'll have a beer then. Excellent choice. Keep things simple. Bartender pours you a beer. Bottoms up. You're drinking beer. You had better beer, but you definitely have worse beer. You gain an effect. Beer buzz. Okay. So what does the, the, the effect does? Plus five to maximum HP. Not bad, actually. Not bad. Okay, so we got Spoonman over there. This guy is jamming, you know. He doesn't care anything about anything except the bass line. This lady seems to be dancing to a different... Oh, come on. To a different song than the other people. You see? She's just shaking it. Shaking it like a Polaroid picture. What about this guy? This guy has been infected with Charleston fever. Player piano thrills a tune. 
There's a door here. Open it. One budge. Okay. Oh, look at this. It's Bitoon. Has been placed at a really challenging height. Ask Dan about it. Hey Dan, your spittoon is kind of inconvenient and I wanted to search it because that's what we did in West of Loathing. Ah baby, that spittoon isn't for spitting it. That's gone out of style now that mass-produced cigarettes are readily available anyway. That's a bona fide historical artifact. What, really? That's right. Belong to a famous adventurer from Frisco just before the turn of the century. Really? Who? Nobody is exactly sure. A lot of people think it belonged to Mumble uh, Fumperdink. Throng theory. Because if there's one thing we know about that cat is that he loves spittoons. Other people say they belong to a fellow by the last name of Thern Lion. And a whole lot of other people claim it belonged to a whole lot of other people. There's one thing we know about this spittoon. Whoever it was, they didn't use it for spitting into. They wore it as a hat. Gross. Yep. Sure got into some weird stuff back then. Yeah, no kidding. I used to look in spittoons. Yeah, jam, jam. What about this lady's making ethereal music with spirit-filled glasses? We're really responsible for this illegal poison dispensary to have a first aid kit. See what's in there? You got an item? Ghost pad. You got an item? Activated charcoal briquette. Okay, the spoon man is coming over here. Some weird symbols are carved into one of the floor tiles. I think this might be for like fast travel. These people are obviously on the first day and you shouldn't bother them. Okay. So we need to go to that, uh, you know, like factory thing. Somebody has scratched. Yeah, you see, there's also the weird symbols here. Map! Bridge factory. A hobo nods pleasantly as you pass. Tips his battered hat to you. Howdy, fella. My name's Ricky Garfield. I ain't been able to find any work in town. Any chance you could spare five meat so I can buy some caviar? I'd be really grateful. Caviar? Not just like a sandwich, bro? Well, aim high, I figure. I don't know what I would call a five meat caviar, but it is an aim it high. Here you go, bro. Thanks a heap, fella. A good, real good uh, egg. No problem. Bye. Okay, refrigerator factory. Magi Mactac refrigeration. Okay, so this tool both, uh, was obviously stolen and dragged here. These fo uh, folk look like they're here for some serious business. Try to make a deal. Whoa there, buddy. This is private party, club members only. Yeah, like he said, club members only. Hmm. What kind of club is this? Fraternal order of people who bribed us more than we're earning as gate cards. For bum egg? Never heard of it. How do I join? What are you, thick? I uh, have it. Uh, it was obvious, Paul. You give us meat. How much? 500. Yeah, 500 meat. Clancy, I told you to knock out that repeating business. How am I supposed to come up with that kind of meat? Uh, okay, I've got 500. Would you take 300? Would you take 100? Five moxie. Will you take a beating instead? Okay. Very hard fight. Ah. Holy crap! Okay, let's um, let's try the grenade. Shake and throw. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, that's not good. Can I use the rock here? Okay, that did a little bit of damage. Can I flip it with this guy? A little bit more. Oh crap! Okay, flap slap that guy. Ooh. I don't think we're gonna make it dead. Oh crap. 
Not really sure what you were expecting to have happened there. Next time you decide to pick a fight against four huge moop goons, maybe bring a little more firepower. Losing that fight made you really angry. You get an effect. Angry. Okay. Well, I lost that fight. Let me see. We need more moxie because we don't have 500 meat or 300 meat. Angry plus one muscle. Um. Okay, I need more moxie then. We're back to the moxie thing. Try to make a deal. You see, if I have 300, there's a three moxie is 300. Five moxie is 100. Okay, how do I escape this? How am I supposed to come up with that kind of meat? You could try panhandling with the other bomb sovereign. Go all the uh, way park. Where's that? North and west of here. You can't miss it. Yeah, you can't miss it. For the love of Mike, Clancy, dry up. Okay. Oh, we're gonna go to this thing then. A hobo nods pleasantly as you pad and tips his battery head to you. Howdy, fella. My name's Rip Dad Rapper. Ain't been able to find any work in town. Any chance you could spare three meat so I can fire, buy some caviar? Be really grateful. Okay, well, I'm gonna give you three meat. It's not going to make any difference. No problem. Okay. The park grounds keeper is inspecting a clipboard. That's nice. With the panic paralysis of someone who has much work to do, then he can do any of it. Sorry, fella. I want to seem rude, but I'm uh, much too busy to chat. I'm stuck uh, running the place by myself. There's about a million things to do. I could use a little, uh, a little extra pocket meat. How about I help you? That would be great, except that the new city regulations disallow hiring random part-time timers. Since this is a municipal park, only official government contractors are allowed to work here. There's a law against side quests? Why? Just to be a thorn on my side, as far as I can tell. It's not like any of these tasks are dangerous or anything. You got kind of a cagey look on your face when you said that. Okay, well, two of them are dangerous. That isn't even half. I submitted a request for help weeks ago, still haven't heard anything back. Well, you're in luck. That would be terrific, but I'm going to need some, see some proof of the thing, you know, because I just happen to be an official government contractor. I'm going to trick him with the four mysticality. You believe I am an official government contractor? Well, you do have the official government contractor waved down, Path. That's good enough for me. Great. What do you mean to you need me to do? That depends. What kind of contractor are you? Um, landscaper, exterminator, plumber, security guard, statue polisher. Uh, late for an official meeting. I'll come back afterwards. Okay, there's a bunch of side quests that we can do here. Let me see if there's anything else. Grime Bekent statue. Field coated statue. Field coated statue. Okay, so apparently we can clean these statues. Take it to the streets. Can we go back to this? You encounter a hobo who is sauntering down the sidewalk with a bindle over his shoulder. Whistle a jumpling too. Hey there, fella. Are you Fuzzy? Duncan Seaman. How do you know my name? Oh, we help us our tiny -knit little community. If someone's helping us out, word gets around. That's nice. Little creepy. Nice on balance. Why don't you come visit our camp? You're glad we have you. Where is it? Well, just head down 12th Street till you see the lot where the old hardware store used to be, and then you take a. Um, you know what? It's simpler if you're marking your map for you. Yes. Okay, we take a pencil stop, marks a clutter of little boxes on your map. Come on, any time. We got the Ocean City Hobo Camp. Bid him adieu. Okay, we got another Hobo Camp. I wanted to see if there was anything else here. This is condemned. This is secure barrels. In the daylight, it's clear this bank has been closed for some time. The door to the bank is fastened with three locks. That is the maximum possible level of security. Hey, stop dancing, bro. Look under the welcome mat. 
Not a bad idea, but you're going to leave the welcome mat. You need to know what you're looking for. The key, you know? You got an item. Bank key. Use the key. The door locks are modeled on the monstrous mug of the Great Hound Cerberus, three-headed guardian of the underworld's banking sector. Each of the three heads has a name. Felix, Methpon, and Sneaky Pete, with a keyhole deep in its mouth. We're gonna unlock Sneaky Pete. That's strange. The key turns over and over in the lock, but nothing happens. Something already sneaky about this Pete, okay? We're going to unlock Felix. Okay. We're gonna unlock Methapon. I think I think we unlock Methapon. Key fits in the hole alright, but it's a labyrinth in the cylinder. Okay, so to unlock Felix we need seven muscle. To unlock Methapon we need eight mysticality. And to unlock Sneaky Pete, we need six Moxie. Okay, we're gonna leave this door open for now. Look somewhere else? Sure. Can we go back to the bridge factory? The fridge factory, I guess. Uh, a young man wearing a floor dusted apron swaggers up to you with a loaf of French bread on his shoulder and an arrogant sneer on his face. Hey man, this is dog boy territory. If you wanna walk down the street, you gotta pay the toll. What's the toll? Five mid. How about five knuckles? Okay. So, this guy is going to attack Gabby. So, how about we toss a dubious call of war thing? It worked! You see, sometimes it works. I'll throw this. That guy is gone. Fro Frobert the dog baby. I'm gonna slap you around with this. There you go. You won. Looks like the guy is toast. We get a clammy dog glob. Okay. Thaddeus the canary grows stronger. Oh nice. Whee! Uh Try to make a deal. No, we need the thing. So there's no other way, you know? I was trying to see if there was another way. Uh, let's go back to Plunkett Street. You hear the ringing of cathedral bells until to see the source. Unsurprisingly, it's a cathedral. Unless you're just naturally surprised by cathedrals. St. Polycarp's Cathedral. Okay. I'm gonna continue going. Okay, so apparently if we just walk around, we get, like, the random places. Just like in West of Loading. There's nothing in that direction except the road you arrived on. Okay. Probably nothing you want here. Dying out of business. Call of War supplies. Uh, the, the grenade project is coming, it's coming. One blew up in my face, won't help me. Let me see, what is this? Deals five least damage. Weird. Muscle plus physical damage. I'm gonna sell this crowbar. Grammy spatula, I'm keeping. Mm, plus one mysticality. Activated charcoal briquet. Oh, cures poison. Nice. Welding gloves plus one hot armor. I'm gonna sell this one. I don't it says. Murray's antiques. Can I do anything here? Uh, still looking. I think I track it down, but I need a bunch of meat to get it. What? Is this talking a gumball machine? I tracked the owner to a refrigerator warehouse, but I need to bribe some uh, mob goons to get it. Sorry, kiddo. I already gave you all the walking around money we could spare. Maybe find some odd jobs somewhere. Gross. Any suggestions? A lot of city services are having trouble because of the new hiring rules. Maybe you could score some cash under the table at Gold uh, the Wade Park. Great. Which table? <laughs> No, I mean, I just, just kidding. I, I, I'm, not, I'm actually not kidding. Okay. 
Well, I guess we go to the thing. Can open that. Yeah. Let's go to this Saint Polycorps. What? Oh, I pressed the... I wonder. Pebble next to the sidewalk catches your eyes. Using that exact same eye, you determine that it's not an ordinary pebble. It's a petrified espresso bean. Grind it up. You got energizing powder. Okay, can we wander a little bit more? On our way to whatever, you run into a cool guy wearing some cool sunglasses strutting down the avenue. Hey, baby, what's happening? Uh, hi. I can see you dig the shades. You got good taste. I would the what? You like my sunglasses. Oh, gotcha, yeah. I don't think anyone calls them shades for at least another 20 years, though. I pride myself on being on the cutting edge. He flips open his coat, showing you rows of sunglasses inside. Care to buy yourself a pair? For you, only 25 minutes. One moxie. Hmm. Um, no, for now, no. You're lost, baby. See you around. Okay, can we wander a little bit more? As you're walking, Gabby strikes up a conversation. So, you're new in Ocean City. First time at it. That's right, yeah. What things have you got of it? Well, to be honest with you, it seems a little run down. Yep, Gabby understands you. It was much nicer before an economy happened. Lots of people, very excitement. Oh ho, have you seen the boardwalk yet? It's like a cat wearing pajamas. Wait, what? It has games there and a future teller. Well, that does sound like a cat wearing pajamas. We unlock the Ocean City boardwalk. Maybe later. Okay, we got a boardwalk. I'm gonna wander a little bit more. On your way to where you're going, you happen to notice a guy across the street. In particular, you noted that he's sitting on top of a mailbox. He notices you too, extends his hands towards you for a handshake. You call out across the traffic. Uh, hi, you, you realize I'm about 30 feet away, right? Yeah, but I can't leave the mailbox. Sometimes I regret my curious nature, but I guess I'll ask anyway. Why can't you leave the mailbox? Come on over, I'll tell you. Location unlocked, mailbox. Okay, I'm gonna walk over to this guy. So you see, we got a mailbox up there. Mailbox. There's a mailbox here with a guy sitting on top of it. Talk to him. Guy reaches down from his perch uh, to shake your hands. Hi, I'm Marvin. Hi, Marvin. I'm Fuzzy. What are you doing over there? A stunt. A stunt? Doesn't seem particularly stunty. You're just sitting there. Yeah, but I've been sitting here for... He looks at his watch. Seven months... 15 days, 9 hours, and 41 minutes. Why? It's a stunt. Okay, but are you protesting something? Trying to attract attention to some kind of cause? Nope. Do you have money riding on this? Is it for a bet? A contest? Nope. I feel like you don't really get the concept of a stunt. I guess not. Say, would you mind helping me out with something? Sure, what's up? Another side quest. Been eating snackle cakes while I've been up here and I'm out. Can you go grab some more for me? Okay, those uh, snackle cakes. Are you serious? I'll admit they're an acquired taste. And I guess nobody other than you wanted to acquire the taste of powder milk mixed with sawdust with the nail still in it. Because snackle mills went out of business years ago. Yeah, but the shelf life on those things is incredible. It's what makes them so good for stock rations. Got my supply from Hiram's Grocery down the street. Would you pick me up some more? Yeah, okay. Be right back. Okay, there's a random stranger's door. Knock on this. Who's there? Fuzzy. Fuzzy who? Barth. Sorry, I don't know anyone named Fuzzy Barth. Okay, sorry. Random stranger door. Who's there? Fuzzy. Fuzzy who? Barth. Sorry, I don't know. Okay, there might be some sort of you know, puzzle over here. Okay, well, we got Hiram's thing. Getting several, you know, like, 
uh, side quest. Can we wander a little bit? Barely have time to react as the ground shakes and shudders violently without warning. The burst in the rain of earth as several large slimy tentacles force their way out of the ground, writhing and twisting and groping at their surroundings. Incidentally, the reaction we barely had time to make was ah. Okay, we're gonna fight them. Okay, gonna use the cola. Shake and throw. Ah, crap! Stupid thing. Okay, I'm gonna use it there. Now let's lop your ram. There you go. Okay, can you heal me a little bit? Yeah. Okay, I got a little bit of the healing thing. Oh, crap. Okay, heal me! Heal me! Okay, I need something to heal me. Um, heal and remove bleeding. Cure poison. Okay. Apply. Okay, that's good. I'm going to use this on this guy. And I'll slap your ring. I need to use the dubious grenades, you know, it's a... Uh, it's like a, the quest. Okay, and you're going to heal me. I knew it. Okay, now we take care of this stupid tentacle. Slapping around a little bit more. Okay, good. You got... Oh, curious. You follow trail of disturbed earth crack pavement from the place where the tentacles uh, pop out of the ground to the place where presumably they popped in. And by presumably, I mean obviously, because this place is a house with slimy, wriggling tentacles poking out of all its holes. Did you have to phrase it that way? The tentacle house. I'm gonna ignore it and keep walking. Okay, so we got the tentacle house over here. Let's go to Sans Polycarp. You stop short as you turn the corner and duck behind the lamppost. Down the street, three dog boys are having out in a thick cloud of smoke. On closer inspection, well, they start squinting, you know. None of them have cigarettes. Where's all that smoke coming from? One of them is waving his arm mystically. Are they conjuring flour? That's a good trick. Doesn't seem like a great idea to stand there breeding it. Okay. Ambush them. Why is there a tentacle on my side? That's so weird. Okay. I'm just gonna deal with these guys. Whoa! Don't hit the bird! Okay, I think we're gonna die here. Why is there a tentacle helping me now? That is so weird. Okay, heal everybody. Flower storm. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna use this. Uh, mm, decrease the things, no. I wonder if I should use the, the, the grenade. Uh, you know what? We're going to do this. Okay. And we're just gonna slap him around. Okay, good. He's gone. Okay, that guy ran away. The tentacle, which I don't know why is there, attacked that guy. Okay, heal. Okay, not good. Jesus. Okay, so you are going to attack eight out of eight. Okay, we're gonna attack this guy. And now we're gonna slap them around. Okay, gone. Okay, tentacle go over there. Nice. Let's 
still a little puzzle as to why that tentacle is with us. Flower storm. Okay, attack again. Slap him around. And done. We got the dog boy's hideout recipe. And we got a chef hat. And we get 10 meat. Oof. Okay. Let me see something. What? Why is there a, a tentacle following me around? Okay, I'm gonna increase the moxie. Now I'm thinking I should have bought the... Um, I should have bought the the shades from the, the you know the the salesman. Okay, get this one. Okay. So no, not character sheet. Uh, map of the city. Yeah, we got three mocks here. Two muzzle, five mysticality, 28 hit points. Mm. Okay. Someone has carved some strange symbols onto this splint. Yeah, you see? Guessing fast travel. Yeah, we're not gonna get with Gabby. We already gabbed with Gabby. Can I enter this? Oh, look at this, the Pope. Hey, bro. It's a biker. Okay, the biker. Who seems agitated about something. Hello there. Oh, no, oh, no. What am I going to do? I was going to ask if everything is okay, but plainly not. Okay, sorry. Didn't see you there. Uh, services are cancelled for the moment. What's the matter? One of the urns has been stolen from our catacombs. Stolen, I say. This tiny cathedral has a catacomb? Well, sounds nicer than basement. Are they particularly important ashes? Oh my goodness, we couldn't keep the relics of a saint in a little cathedral like this. Our urns are just the ashes of former vikers and uh, community leaders and so on. They're all important in their own way and the bishop is due to arrive from an inspection soon. Funny how bishops always seem to just arrive to, for an inspection somewhere. But I'll look into it to you, don't worry. Thank you so much. Here, I'll unlock the door so you can have a look. Mind your step on the way down, please. Those stairs are old and steep. All right. So, do I have, like, the old side quests? Okay, this is the to-do. Okay, these are the side quests. We need to find the snake cakes. We need to investigate the catacombs. And we need to test, test the dubious grenades. Okay. Anything back here? Please don't disturb the altar. Sorry. This is the cathedral's font, or more properly, typeface. That was a bad pun. There's something over here. There's a hymnal. Yeah. I got an unpleasant hymnal. The crap is this? Crack it open to deal your muscle in spooky damage once per fight. Interesting. Guess a recipe for getting to a place is technically a map. Location unlock, Snake Mills Factory. Okay. Energizing powder. This is a natural energizing compound. Nature speaks in mysterious ways. But not before it had had its coffee. Chef hat. Plus two to magical weapon attacks. So is the grimy spatula a magical weapon? Yeah, it's a magical weapon. Mm, plus one mysticality. Okay, no items here, no items here, no shoes. I'm walking with no rings, no pants, no shoes. You see? No... No, no shame. Okay, what happens if we go down here? Head down. St. Polycarp's catacombs. There's one candle left unlit. Light it. I need a match for that. There's a patch of two moss growing on the wall here. Okay. Is there a guest book? Last three visitors were Dunk Hufferby, visiting from Saskatoon. That seems like a dead end. 
and they sure have some weird names up in Canada. Charles Wallace, 111 Plunkett Street. That's the address of the antique store. You'll have to ask Charles about the next time you see him. Oh, your uncle come here. Captain August Dirch. Captain's Dirch House. Signed book. You sign your name and address. Okay. So I guess we got a new location. Got Dutch House over here. Tentacle House. Snake Mills. Hiram's Boardwalk. Okay. Spare urns. It's big crate full of identical empty burial urns. Must be spares. Okay. Fancy pedestal with an old urn on it. This is the one that's missing. For your old manhole cover. Okay, so is there anything? I don't know if there's anything we can do here. We need a match. But I don't recall the store selling matches, so... Okay. I'm gonna wander a little bit more. Two goblins wearing shorts with suspenders and carrying, you know, those things, those marching band things. They're like an upright harp, except instead of strings, they have metal xylophone bars. Those things. Anyway, these goblins are carrying those. They interrupt you. Hi, hello. Oh, hi. What's up? You are intruding on the territory of the Glocklins. Okay. I don't know what a Glocklin is. We're Glocklins, we both. We're the toughest, uh, tall street gang in Ocean City. Bad thing you about it. I guess you look pretty tough, though, you know? That's true, we do it. Uh, xylophones are pretty cool, too. Xylophones, these are Glockenspiels that we have. Oh, Glocklins. I get it now. So I'll rage over you. I think we shall a mugging do. Okay, we can trick them and bamboozle. Fight them. Okay, we're gonna fight this. I want to, I want to, you know, like test the um, the grenades so we can complete that. Come on, don't blow up. Okay, nice. I'm gonna throw this rock at you. Okay, you're gone. I'm gonna slap this guy around a little bit. Hey, that was easy. We got uh, the Glocklinghosen. Okay, one physical armor. Small load of dark bread. Increases your maximum HP. Hey, Thaddeus the Canary grows stronger. Nice. Space Wonder. Gabby takes a piece of candy out of her purse and tosses it in her mouth. Then holds the purse out to you. Want one? Sure, thanks. Uh, your purse is just entirely filled with salt water taffy? Yep, Gabby's favorite. We got li licorice taffy. I guess I did hear somewhere that goblins process sugar really effectively. Don't need as many vitamins as human. Haha, <laughs> jealous? A little bit, yeah. Did you find your path unexpectedly blocked by a huge pile of junk. Broken down car, busted lamppost, couch with the springs poking out of it. Wide variety of other assorted trash. Gee, what happened here? Debbie has a memory of it. There was an accident a couple of weeks ago. That car had a tire break and smash on the lamppost. That explains the car and the lamppost. But why are they still here and what's up with the other junk? City trash take wares are all contractors now and who wants to wanted to pay for it? Nobody. So the car waits he there. People put junk there. Just uh, that's a place where junk is. I guess we go around it. No, no, not in the street. That's dangerous. Look at that lamppost for what a car can do. Sure, but the traffic isn't bad right now, and here is not any problem. Gabby starts picking up junk and stacking it out of the way, clearing a path through the middle of the pile. Thanks, Gabby, but that's not really heave ha. With a mighty shove, Gabby knocks the wrecked car over on its side and wrestles it uh, wrestles into a parking spot. Wow, Gabby's strong. Ha! Ah, Gabby sure showed that car where a car goes. Phew. Gabby's muscle increases by one. Yeah, if this antique thing doesn't work out, you could get a job threatening to park people's uh, cars for them. Okay, continue the way. Okay, so let me... I guess we're gonna go to the park. We'll be wandering around. Okay, more goblins. 
Uh, there's an unusual sight. Four goblins are playing their glockenspiels while doing some kind of traditional folk dance. It involves a lot of skipping and hopping and turning around in a square with precise timing. So they aren't paying any attention to you. Or to anything else, really. I'm gonna join them. We're gonna bust a move. It does kind of look like fun, but you definitely don't know the steps and would only cause chaos. It would be simpler just to attack them since a brawl would probably result anyway. Sorry. Hey, the, the, the tentacle is back. Don't hit the bird. The crap is wrong with you. Okay, I'm gonna use the cola. This is going to blow up in my face. Oh no! Nice, it worked. Cool. Okay, that guy is done. Gonna slap, let's see, this guy has 13, 13, 7. I'm gonna slap that guy around. Dead. Okay, nice. Tentacles, slap that guy. Awesome. Gabby, heal. Stop hitting the damn bird. No. No. Why, why are these guys hitting my bird? What's up with that? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna bust you up, bro. There you go. Okay, tentacle, go over there and hit that guy. I'm still not sure why this tentacle is helping us, but no. Okay, Gabby's going to do a flap slap. Okay, you coming for me? Flip it. There you go. You got the glo goblet mark fall. Okay, you gain 10 meat. Okay, so let's see. Um, I need five moxie. We got three. Do I have enough to like increase my my fifteen? No. Uh, effects. We get the plus one mysticality, which for now. We got 213. Um, let's see. What gives me moxie? Food. This thing increases the maximum HP. So that's not good. Potion. Increases the damage to your melee weapon. Increases the maximum AP. And this does nothing. Combat items. Deal damage and reduce taxes and moxie. No, I don't need that. Books, no. Miscellaneous, energizing powder, nothing. Okay, everything. So, no, no. Maximum HP, physical armor, deals muscle, plus two to magical weapon attacks, deals seven sleeves. The Encursed Fedora, plus one mysticality, and maximum HP. Okay, never mind Moxie. I don't have anything that allows with the Moxie. Okay, bro, give me a job. Um, statue polisher. Thank God I wasn't uh, looking forward to doing that job. I think the birds must be eating leftover from the old snake cakes factory. It's horrible. Here's a rag. You got an item. Statue wiping rag. The groundskeeper unlocks the maintenance shed behind him. Can't promise there's anything you'll need in there, but feel free to borrow whatever strikes your fancy. Great. Okay, is there anything here? Park maintenance logs. There wouldn't be interesting even if you weren't just pretending to work. Okay. Shell full of various herbicides and weed-killing chemicals. Okay. <clears throat> Shelf laden with miscellaneous junk. Oh, we got a match! And a paper clip. Homemade cookies! Homemade cookies. Maintenance overalls. Let's see. Maintenance overalls plus 3 maximum HP. 
plus one physical armor. Uh, I don't know what's better. Let's keep the plus one physical armor for now. I do have a match now. Can I clean these things? Requires one stench armor. I don't have stench armor. Okay. Can we gab with Gabby? Is the same thing we saw? Gabby has readiness for an action. Send Gabby to the speakeasy. Flap your gums a little bit. Real fire fracker, uh, firecracker in a fist fight. G Gabby? Gabby likes fighting and dancing. The best two things. Gabby invented fight dancing once. This world wasn't ready for it. Maybe 50 years later. Okay, we're just gabbing the things, you know? We need some muscle. Okay, you already saw this one. Okay. So I guess we go to the cathedral. Long before you actually turn the corner, you hear two gocklings uh, playing their high pitched blinkery glockenspiels extremely loudly. By the time you actually get up to them, they're well, not totally deaf, but you wish you were. Jeez, you two, can you tone it down a bit? Ha, tone it down, you say. What about if we turn if we up tone? I'm gonna give you a musical lesson. Look, friends, we're going about this all wrong. Don't you know anything about modern music? What's important is the note you don't play. What? You mean uh, you the notes play we not? Can see you have a lot to learn. You better start by practicing not playing any notes at all. Then once you get good at that, you can focus on learning which specific notes not to play. Huh. See that this modern music a tricky business is. The goblins stare at their glockenspiels, carefully not playing them. As you leave, you hear one accidental plink, followed by urgent shushing and apologies. Oop. Well, that worked. Okay, Gabby, let's go inside this thing. I got now a match. Light it. This doesn't preclude you cursing the darkness later if you feel like it. You gain 3 XP. Okay, I thought this would be like... Okay, I guess we need to go and... Uh, uh, go to Captain August Dirch. Uh, August Dirch. Yes. That might be the one we need. Saint Polycarps. Okay, so. Um, Dirch House. Thin, nervous looking man is a soup stops you. Excuse me, sir. Do you fear for your safety in this dangerous city full of hoodlums and criminals? Um, I carry three spare changes of underwear and I've already used one today. Friend, I think I have a much more convenient solution to your problem. Oh, I see. What are you selling? He holds up a small case and opens it, displaying a selection of the tiniest pistols you've ever seen. Derringers! One of these up your sleeve in your sock or whatever you can think to hide it, like up your ass. Personal self-defense is right at your fingertips. Are concealed pistols legal in this state? What? Probably, sure. Okay, how much? Yours for only 30 meat. This thing deals your moxie plus 2 physical damage. Hmm. Okay, no thanks for now. Oh, well, you know what? I'm gonna buy one. I have enough meat. I need more moxie. I certainly don't regret being able to make my rent payment at Mrs. Brewster. Who's Mrs. Brewster? She runs a boarding house for traveling salesmen. Gets real scary when the rent's late. Location unlocked. Mrs. Brewster home for traveling salesmen. Okay. Maybe we will check that out later. Uh, what is this? Amble away? No. Look at this, there's... This rock is steaming. Comforted. You reassure the rock that everything is going to be okay. It loads off some of its range. You got an item. Lologist Resident. Okay, I guess that's to... You know, like... Craft something. Why do all the rocks in these yards have creepy glyphs painted on them? Weird. Mm. 
That's kind of weird. Indeed. The rock has a date painted on it. 11 10 82. I'm going to write this down as, as well. 11 10 82. Jot it down. Okay, got it. Probably shouldn't just barge it. Okay, knock. And there's something like a. Uh, well, well, that's it. Um, I'm gonna say um, selling these fine leather jackets from the Municipal Census Bureau. I'm the milkman. Got your milk. Congratulations, you've won a sweep takes. Fat chance, never won nothing, didn't. Hello? Um, this enter no sweepstakes, no house, Graham. I'm the milkman. Got your milk. I ain't drink that fat water gets lost. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Don't want any. Buzz off. I'm from the Municipal Censors Bureau. There's nobody here but me and these four urns. Urns? Uh, fi five urns. Go away. I'll come back later. Mm. Okay, I don't know. I'm away. Okay, let's go to this one, Mrs. Brewster's. Looks like uh, okay. Hands in the air, buckle. You're on tin Liz's turf. This is a stick-up. You turn to see a woman in old stained coveralls pointing the gun-like tool in your direction. What the? Is that a cocking gun? Stick up is usually such a little phrase. Actually, it's a grease gun. So I guess it's more like a slick up. <laughs> Gross. There is a critic. Give me your wallet. I'm not going to... I'm going to grab your gun. I got the moxie. You pull out your wallet, nervously fumble it, dropping it at the woman's feet. When she growls and reaches for it, you swiftly grab her wrist and, uh, wrist, uh, the, and twist the grease gun out of her hand. Hey! Looks like the grease is on the other hand. Lug nut? Honestly, I don't know anything about cars. You're gonna regret messing with the tin leases. I'm gonna regret touching this filthy grease gun more. Go on, scram. You got an item. Tin leases grease gun. Nice and smooth. Okay. Mrs. Brewster's. Let me check a little bit over here. So, a little, we got 23 XP. Bamboozle. This is actually interesting. Doesn't count as lying if you do it for a good reason. I need the moxie to enter the factory, but... Tin Liz's Grease Gun. Deals your moxie plus two Liz's damage. Never really intended to be used as a weapon, but that's never stopped you before. Well, the thing is that the spatula thing I'm using deals a lot of damage, you see? Mysticality plus two physical damage. And mysticality is at five. So that's the thing. Hmm. It is moxie plus two. Okay, if we increase the moxie to five, either two, either these two is good, you know? Paperclip. Increase target stench armor by three. Ooh. From multinational treaties to fourth grade school assignments, the humble paperclip has dutifully girded our shi uh, shifts since whenever the humble paperclip was invented. Okay, interesting. But the increases target stent armor is nothing you can use. Goblet mullet ball. Deal three physical damage. Mm. We need stench armor for, you know, like doing the thing at the bank. Mrs. Brewster's home for traveling salesman. Established 1899. Door is locked. Head inside? Sure, it isn't locked. As you enter the boarding house, you discover some kind of hubaloo or perhaps a kerfuffle. Kerfuffle. Stern-looking middle-aged lady surrounded by six agitated men, all talking over each other, listening. Gentlemen, I insist you settle down at once. We won't get to the bottom of this with all you acting like panicked school children. Mrs. Brewster, we've got to call the cops. Ha, huh. 
but this town calls police, I wouldn't trust to solve a jigsaw puzzle. Let alone a serious crime. And I won't have those hooligans turning my house upside down. But there's been a murder. Someone has to do something. What you can do is all go to your rooms and let me think. Good gracious. The man fell up the stairs, abashed, but still fidgeting nervously. Okay. Um, talk to the woman. Excuse me. Mr. Brewster sighs, exasperated. I'm sorry, I don't have any vacancies. Oh, well, I suppose I do, but I can't let you have the room until this whole mess has been sorted out. One of those men said something about murder? Yes, it's absolutely ghastly. One of my lodgers was murdered in the night. Nobody heard or saw anything. I'm practically at my wit's end. How am I going to help? Maybe I can help? My name's Fussy Borth. I'm kind of an independent investigator sort of thing. Oh, like the Belgian fellow in the mystery novels. What? I'm sure. Well, that's marvelous. If you can solve this mystery, I can pay you quite reasonably. Okay, it's a deal. Thank goodness. What can you tell me about the victim? He was a traveling salesman. All my lodgers are traveling salesmen. What did he sell? Oh, they come and go so frequently. I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea. Okay, well, how did he die? I'm not sure. The body is missing. Look. You better just go and have a look for yourself. He was in 3C. I locked the door so that no one would mess around in there. You got an item? Key to room 3C. Okay. So Gabby's over here where we got tiny old paintings of previous borders. The radio plays agreeable music. The bathroom door is closed. The potted flowers saw nothing. Are you sure you didn't saw anything? I'm looking at you, you plant. What is this? Only Mrs. Brewster is allowed in the kitchen. Not a crumb to be found in the dining table. Mrs. Brewster creeps this place pick and span. Okay, let's go to the second floor. Uh, where was the murder? 3C, right? So, let's see. Murder. I believe it was in 3C. So, 2C. Room 2D, but really, there are all 2D. You think about it. <laughs> Hashtag. 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D. 3D, 3C. This is the one. The side of the incident. Unlock the door. You unlock the door and put the keys in the secret pocket you use for things that won't ever need to be referred to again. Maybe up your ass. You step into the room 3C and discover, holy crap, a massive pool of blood on the floor. And like Mrs. Brewster said, there is nobody in sight. Okay, this is 3C. Yeah, there's a massive... Holy jeez, is there even this much blood inside a person? There's a lot of blood over here. This uh, throw rug looks pretty ordinary. Okay, check underneath it. You roll up the rug and whoa, what the heck? There's a crazy occult diagram underneath it. The lines and glyphs appear to have been burned into the floor. You can see little blobs of melted candle wax at the points of the dodecagram. And it even smells faintly of weird incense. Was this some kind of ritual killing? Great, like a regular old murder wasn't enough. Okay, so you see? Creepy occult ritual circle. There's little blobs of old candle wax on it and everything. Wardrobe is locked. Ordinary wash basin, no clues here. There's also a mirror. Check yourself for clues. Oh, this is the thing where you can change the... You see? Smile, frown, scowl, worry, cringe, freak out. Go back to normal. Okay. Windows locked, so the killer must have come from inside the house. Did I check the bed? Nothing interesting about the bed, except that it's next to a massive pool of blood. And I will shake away the cloudy skies with the California lullaby. And when you're frozen with desire, we'll put our toes up to the fire. And I will sing your cares away. So 
let me take you back to paradise All you gotta do is close